Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and Happy New Year. Say Happy New Year. Okay. So we hope you guys spent your New Year's Eve well and safe. For today's video, we wanted to show you guys some of our favorite pet products. Um, these products I've been using on Cube well over a year and um, I don't see myself straying from them. So be sure to subscribe and like this video and... Yeah, let me just start showing you guys the products. So the first product I want to show you guys is Cube's shampoo. This is the shampoo I use for him, um, for his bats. He normally gets his bats between three to four weeks, um, unless he gets really dirty or he starts to smell like Fritos or something. Um, I've used this shampoo since he was a puppy, and I haven't had any problems with it. I did try using a shedding shampoo on him, and it made his skin super dry and flaky. So when that happened, I bought his conditioner. So I have this one from Earth Bath. It's the oatmeal and aloe conditioner. Um, this one also smells like vanilla and almond. I started using that one, like I said, because he got his dry skin. And once I started using this, I would say maybe after the second one, it went completely back to normal. And I haven't been using that shedding shampoo or de-shedding shampoo, and I've just been using these two, and they've been working perfectly fine. He also has a really shiny coat naturally. He's always had it. I feel like these ones do help the coat, but I mean, it might just be me. So the next product I want to show you is the baby wipes I use on him. I use the fragrance-free baby wipes from Target, and I buy them in a three-pack. So they come with 72 wipes, so three packs of 72. I've been using these since I got Cube, literally since the day I got him. I really do recommend these wipes because they haven't caused any allergies on Cube. I'm not saying everything that I'm showing you guys is going to work on your dog or for your dog. Um, this is just what we use and you should do your own research and know your own dog to know what he or she is allergic to. Um, but these wipes in particular have not given me any problems and I use them every night to wipe his folds in his face Like his butt his paws everything and I haven't had any problem with them And then if it's in between baths and he does get a little bit funky like a funky smell um, I do use these wipes. They're pet wipes They're in the cool citrus smell or scent and it's not really strong, so you don't really smell it on your dog. But they do work, and when I wipe him down before bed in between baths, he doesn't stain because I do sleep with him. I know some people don't like to sleep with their dogs, but that's just how it is. So the next product I want to show you guys is his nail grinder. I use this Dremel one. I bought it off of Amazon when he was a puppy because he started getting like long nails and I didn't want to take him. To like a groomer or anything like that so I just learned how to do it by myself. It came with the actual grinder and then different little heads to switch these out when they become dull but I'm still on the first one so it'll last me a while. The next product I want to show you I feel is necessary if you leave your dog home alone. Um, it's a camera. I have this one. It's from Amcrest and I bought it on Amazon right when I got Cube. I think it was about $60. It has the two-way speaker so I could hear him and then he can hear me as well if I put the speaker on. The camera is connected to an app in your phone and you're able to use the speaker on your phone to talk to your pet and then the sounds like inside your house comes through your phone. And then you're also able to swivel the camera with the little uh, buttons on the app. I just think it's really cool if you like to spy on your dog and you could even record if you put an SD card inside the camera. So the next product I want to show you guys is Cube's favorite toys. So here's two of them. They're called Chihuahua toys and I call them his Chihuahuas. And when I say like, go get your Chihuahua, he knows what I'm talking about. These are literally his favorite toys. It came in a pack of four and I bought them on Amazon. But they're really, really squeaky, like, like really squeaky and they make him go crazy. He grabs them as soon as you walk into the house. He gets super excited and goes and picks one up and he's just squeaking for like 10 minutes. So I was actually on in, on Cube's Instagram and one of the Frenchies that he follows was playing with a toy and I they linked them I think or I asked them what kind of toy it was and I bought them and then ever since I got him he's never left them alone and I've recommended them to every Frenchie I see that uses a squeaky toy. I've recommended them to everybody. 
They're literally the most annoying toys, but they make them so happy that it makes it worth it. I mean, I guess if you don't like squeaky toys, then don't buy it. But, I mean, why wouldn't you want to make your dog happy, right? <laughs> so the next product I want to show you is the bow ties that I love using for Cube. They are bow ties, and then it's a collar as well. And then the bow tie is able to be moved and adjusted and even taken off. I think they're really high quality. The hardware on it is really cute and very sturdy. So he has this colorway and then he has, he's actually wearing it. I might as well just show you. Come here puppy. So this is the other colorway. He uses the blue and green one more because it was actually sent to him by the owner, Marion, and she's literally the sweetest. Um, I found them on Instagram last year. I wanted to buy this one for his birthday. It kind of looks like Burberry, so I just wanted him to look bougie for his birthday. But I bought it, and then I tagged her in it, and she contacted us and said I would love to send him a bow tie for my, from my fall collection. So I said, yeah, of course, we love your bow ties. And so he has these two for now. I do want to get him more. I want to get him, honestly, every single color. So these collars are really high quality. They're super cute. And I would recommend them to anyone, whether you have a big dog, a small dog. Um, why wouldn't you want your dog to look super cute? I know some people are against dressing their dogs and they just want something really minimal and just really stylish and those collars are perfect. So I'll go ahead and link her website down below. The next product I wanna show you guys is this sweater. It's a little zip up sweater. It has the zipper in the front and then it has a little pocket in the back and it even has a hood. So I bought this sweater at the 2017 Reindeer Romp which is a fundraiser for French Bulldog Rescue and a meetup for all Frenchies in Southern California. The owner was there, she had like a little pop-up shop and that's when I got this sweater. So another one of my favorite Frenchie brands was at the meetup as well, and it's called What the Frenchie. I bought this shirt, it's just a pink shirt and has a little Frenchie in the front where a pocket usually would be. And I just thought it was really cute and simple, definitely my style. Um, I do recommend their stuff, their stuff is like so cute, so cute. She has like sweaters and tank tops and shirts, and then I also have a sticker on my flask. It just says Frenchie Squad on it. They come with your orders, and I just think it's the cutest thing. I'll put their Instagram down below. Her dogs are the cutest little Frenchies in the whole world. They're little cream Frenchies named Weston and Fira, and they're really funny. So the next product I want to show you is Cube's harness. It is this Camo Canine Julius harness with his name patches on the side. Um, the patches do come off. They just say Cube on them. I did want to get him one that has his Instagram handle on it, but I just haven't got around to getting it. I do want to get him a couple more colorways. They come in a bunch of different colors. I think they have more patterns than this camo print, but they're really cute and they're really sturdy and he doesn't slip out of them or they don't become loose. I've never had an issue with this harness, like him getting out, slipping out, running, anything. Well, I mean like knock on wood that never happens, but this harness has been really sturdy and he does pull when we walk sometimes like if he sees a cat or just something gets his attention sometimes he will pull and I'm just glad it hasn't come loose or broken or anything like that. So I definitely do recommend these harnesses especially for short faced dogs instead of having the collar around their neck harness would be way better. I mean there's a million different styles of harnesses that you could go to but this one is definitely our go-to. So those are all the products I wanted to show you guys. I feel like I'm missing something, but I, it doesn't come to my mind right now. So if I do figure out what it is, I'll put it in another video. But I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Cube is sleeping over there, so I don't want to wake him up. But he says subscribe and follow him on Instagram. So we can't wait for our next video and we'll see you guys then. Bye.